हेलो एंड वेलकम टू डिजिटल कैट ऑफिशियल आई एम मिराज अंसारी आउट ऑफ डेस्ट सर्टिफाइड कैट ट्रेनर वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट सेशन इन दिस सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट दिस एक्सरसाइज नंबर सिक्सटी सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दिस एक्सरसाइज आई वुड लाइक टू रिक्वेस्ट यू डाइट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल फॉर मोर टेक्निकल ड्राॅइंग्स for more knowledge in autocad and machine drawings and press the bell icon for regular updates if you like this video really then please hit the like button and share with your friends so that they can also learn as you are learning now okay so let's begin uh first of all what we need to know we need to know how to set the layers here you can see we have already created layers in this drawing so make drawings as a current layer just click here and now we have already discussed about these layers and here we 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 can start okay so as you can see that all the dimensions are in inches so here given all dimensions are in inches uh this drawing was created in inches and this rocker arm also will be created in inches okay so let's begin uh suppose if you are not comfortable with uh, this layout of our actually autocad plus drawing sheet then make them half here you can see now it's easy to visualize both of the screens what we have okay here is your drawing sheet here we have autocad okay so let's uh, start Uh, ensure that your unit is already set with uh, inches so make sure just pr press u and enter here we have inches okay then okay to it and now start from this uh, radius given that is 1.75 is the radius here we have the center radius tool and here we can enter the value that is 1.75 enter and uh, here you can see now what we can create uh, uh, this one as well here you can see 3 is the diameter here you can see center and diameter specify the center point and diameter is 3 so that's fine and uh, now this one so before that uh, we we must uh, create the a uh, hexagon given here and here you can see the exact distance between them is given 1.75 okay that is the broach and uh, how could we create a hexagon here you can see we have a polygon tool here it is asking how many sides we need actually number of sides just enter 6 okay specify the center of polygon here we have the center of polygon uh which one we need here inscribed in circle or circumscribed about circle so if you are aware with uh, these two types of circle polygon then you already know about it then what is the meaning of inscribed in circle and circumscribed about circle inscribed in circle polygon is created under the or inside the circle or circumscribed about circle polygon is created outside the circle connect maintaining the tangency okay here you can see we are going to see inscribed in circle here you can see radius is asking what should be the radius of this polygon let's check it here we have 1.75 is the total distance from here to here then half of that i think uh here you can see 1.75 then how to calculate it how to calculate it okay so just press escape qc is the shortcut for calculator and uh, 1.75 divided by 2 say okay to it 0.875 0.875 would be the radius of this polygon okay so here take it again number of side 6 enter center point inscribed okay 
जीरो पॉइंट एट सेवन फाइव जीरो पॉइंट एट सेवन फाइव इंटर नाव वी मस्ट चेक द डिस्टेंस हेयर यू कैन सी एग्जैक्टली इट इज रॉन्ग देन वॉट शुड वी डू हेयर अगेन वी नो ऑलरेडी वॉट वॉज द वैल्यू एट जीरो पॉइंट एट सेवन फाइव नाव वी मस्ट चेक this one okay circumscribed about circle and let's type the value which is 0.875 enter now check it uh i think here you can see this is correct yeah okay so let's uh, rotate this polygon because this corner is here we can see that is here to here that would be 15 uh, sorry 90 90 plus 15 that is 105 okay we must rotate this polygon by 105 okay just select this polygon go to rotate specify the center point and tap the rotation angle that is 0.0105 uh, actually so here you can see we have rotated this polygon and now just draw a line from the center here you can see like this and again a vertical line like this okay now make an offset of 3 mm from the center of this circle then take this offset tool tap the offset distance that is 3 and select this line and click right side okay and uh, as we can see the distance is given from this center to this center is 5.62 here we can see select this line and go to left side and 5.62 is the distance okay now vertical distance is 1.75 then select this line 1.75 is the distance so we have created all the reference lines okay now it's time to create the circles here you can see the radius is given 0.75 circle click here at the intersection point radius is given 0.75 inter and same here 0.75 okay and now diameter is given 0.622 holes so here we have center dia click the intersection point and diameter is given 0.62 inter and here we have 0.62 again so we have created all the uh, required circles and now what should we do here again uh, here you can see we must take a line tangent to this circle and to this circle so take this line command press shift right click and here we have tangent click here right click again tangent otherwise we can type the name that is tangent okay so again space to repeat the same line command here you can see we can't see the tangency so just we can type tan is the shortcut for tangent again tan is the shortcut for tangent so tangent point will be visible properly and we have created okay now here you can see we must trim all the unwanted entities which is not required now select and delete and now see uh what should we do here here you can see one radius we uh, fillet is given of 1.5 so if you use this fillet tool just click here fillet here is the radius and 1.5 is the radius so select this uh, circle as well as this circle so that it it is created easily okay and now here you can see we can't uh, create this portion by using fillet tool we must use tangent tangent radius circle okay so just to select this tangent tangent radius circle and click here somewhere okay and then again here and the radius is given 5 5 okay 
now it's okay uh, we can trim all the unwanted entities so just be careful and uh, just let it is the shortcut for erase tr double enter we actually don't need them all so one by one trim them all just trim it trim it trim it trim it okay and uh, wow this drawing is completed so after creating all the uh, portions of this rocker arm just uh, delete them all we don't uh, actually need so here you can see and now uh, make the center lines layer as a current layer and go to annotate and here we have center mark and click here click here click here okay now here you can see perfectly done and now we must show all the dimensions properly so just make it uh, full screen okay and now go to home tab and here we have already created a layer which is dimension okay now let's apply all the dimensions by using linear tool here you can see uh, this is perfectly done and uh, here to here okay and again press a sp space to repeat the same tool here you can see this is done and uh, one more thing just uh, don't forget to show all the dimensions here you can see uh, dimensions is very useful tool to apply okay all the dimensions of all types of entities just click here and uh, here you can see we can just uh, show this one type here and here is the diameter okay and then here is the radius you can see so it's looking very nice here is the radius of this circle as well here is the radius as well so yeah and now what uh, what is remaining here uh, okay now radius is done this one is done this one is done this one is done everything is done here we have to show this actually select this point and this point this is aligned actually it is not coming why uh, we must use this uh, align tool just click here and to click here so you can easily uh, show the dimensions one more thing just uh, delete it and show the radius here so nothing to worry up here you can switch here and uh, okay now it is not located move text only make this ortho mode off and place it here little bit okay so that's perfect otherwise uh, we can drag it little bit like this okay now see it is done now okay now select the center line and here you can see start from here and here okay now select and lengthen it here you can see now we can uh, apply the angle here you can see angular select this one and this one I'm sorry first of all here you can see so this drawing is completed okay now uh, just uh, select them all and make group okay so that we can select this whole drawing in one click so okay I hope this drawing is clear for you guys. Okay, thank you for this session. Thanks for watching Digital CAD Official. Bye bye. Good day. Take care.